Well, it wasn't a Lions victory yesterday. In fact, if you look at it, to tell you the truth, they were lucky to get into the uh, overtime after all. The Titans win 44-41 to down in Nashville, and Matthew Stafford 33-42 of uh, with a touchdown before getting injured. Sean Hill came in and lit it up, 10 for 13, 172 yards and four, uh, two scores. And uh, the Lions uh, lost yesterday because uh, when they got into overtime, Tennessee went down and kicked the field goal. And then the Lions went all the way down, had a fourth down in inches, or a foot maybe it was, and decided not to kick the field goal from deep in the Titans' end, decided to try to go for the win. And as I understand it, got to the line. was They were merely trying to draw the Titans off sides. And what do you know, Dominic Rayola snapped the ball, and it turned into a quarterback sneak that failed. Ken Dallafor was watching and uh, eager to get his reaction this morning. NFL veteran played for the Lions, the Steelers, the uh, Chargers, and um, of course is with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. Welcome back to the program. Hey, good morning, Michael Patrick, and what a game it was. Did I have that right? Did the Lions, I mean, if you like their call, first of all, let's break it down a little bit. They're down there at fourth and a foot. They could tie it up and extend the overtime with a field goal. Instead, it appeared that they were attempting to go for it, to get the foot. They were deep in the Titans' end. And what what happened is it looked like a quarterback sneak, but as I understand it, they weren't supposed to snap the ball. They were just trying to draw the defense off sides. Yeah, they call that a no snap, a freeze, and uh, that's the company line that they were attempting to draw them off, and then they were going to kick the field goal. But it looked as if uh, the uh, Titans defense was sort of mulling around, and uh, they weren't prepared for a snap. And it almost looks like uh, Dominic Rayola might have taken the matters into his own hands and snapped the ball, thinking they could get the the, the foot they needed. But um, he hasn't spoken, and again, the company line was it was supposed to be a a freeze, no snap, try to draw them off and kick the field goal. So, you you keep saying that's the company line. Do you believe that's what they called? I am not sure. Uh, why would they, I, if they didn't be, call that, why would they say that and hang him out to dry? Let's put it this way. You were on the offensive line. You were an offensive guard right next to the center. It would, yep. Can you ever imagine a situation where the word, the word freeze, as I understand it, means stand still. <laughs> and no snap, as I understand it, means it's, don't snap the ball. like the whole opposite. So <laughs> can, was it like a schoolyard sort of thing? Like, oh, my God, I see a gap. I'm going to snap it? Well, there was no other offensive lineman prepared. <laughs> yeah. They did not come up at the same time. So usually uh, one of two things can happen. The center will take the uh, discretion to snap the ball early, uh, or the quarterback went up and tap, tap, and, and they snap oh. the ball because – there's an opportunity just to just to run and get the yard, but uh, that's what it appeared like. But you know, it's hard to say, and, and uh, there's a lot of confusion. Uh, it was explained the way it was by Coach Schwartz and the team afterward, and uh, we'll just have to wait till it all sort of plays out a little bit more. Well, they're not going to stop asking till they. I mean, the media is not going to stop asking until <laughs> they get a reasonable answer, don't you think? Well, there's probably some people on the ledge after that. Uh, they're trying yeah. to come off the ledge to talk, maybe. <laughs> It's a tough thing, you know. It's an emotional game. There was uh, there was some good things that happened. I mean, Lashore came through, and that was a positive yeah. thing. Uh, Hill came off the bench. What a job he did! Uh, a lot of good things, and then you see five plays of 60 yards for touchdowns against us. Uh, to I mean, it was just it's a crazy game when you look at. Uh, we shouldn't even been in at the end, but we were, and and we should have won, and we didn't, and uh, it's. What a roller coaster that thing was! I, I got to be honest with you. With a minute left, I turned it off and switched over to golf, and then I walked past the radio and I heard them talk. Jim Branstad are huffing and puffing because he went down to the locker room yep. to start the post game interviews, and he was down there and he couldn't see what was going on, yeah. so he was talking. And it, they scored two times in a minute with the onside he kick. He and did the last, with, the, with he, the backup quarterback. He did the last they, part of the play by play uh, <laughs> down on the sideline. Yeah. If, if we. If this continues, we're going to have to get Branstad on a conditioning program. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make that up. Uh, no. So I guess what the answer will be come come the press conference is probably, look, we're, we're going to look forward now uh, to the next game, the Vikings. We're not going to talk about that game anymore. It's over. I guess I can, I guess I can buy them saying that. Because, <laughs> uh, but these kind of strange things tend to happen with the Lions. If, if you were the guard and you were next to Rayola, and you saw a gap, do you think it's possible that he and Sean Hill and you guys could have coordinated and said, let's just do it, let's do it, let's go? Well, if it's a, if, if it's a, a tap from the off, if it's a tap from the quarterback, no, the guards would have no idea because that's that's done on, on, on the backside of the center. It's only the center and the quarterback that have that coordination. Mm -hmm. uh, and like I said, I don't know if the quarterback did or the center took some 
a discretion in the decision. I, I can't say, nobody's saying, but um, you know, if they were going to kick the field goal or try to draw him offside, that's the only other explanation that I can think of. What would you have said to Dominic Riola as you guys were running, sprinting to the locker room after that happened, if in fact he did it on his own and you're the guard right next to him? Um, it's, it's hard to say. You want to be a supportive teammate, Michael, but you know, like I said, it's an emotional game and um, you know, you just everybody's trying to do their best. I guess that's the best thing I could say. I don't know what I would say. I like the Probably. look of I like the look of Lashur though, don't you? I do. I, I I think that was really positive. I I, I hope that wasn't a, a sign of a weaker defense they were going against. I hope that was a sign that he hard to tell. A strong back. These look great for Lashur. Hey, uh, I wanted to ask you too. I know you have friends who are uh, NFL officials, and we've now gone through a number of games with the replacement officials. Uh, have you noticed watching the games at all that it's any less uh, better officiated than with the pros there? I, I think there's some missed calls. I think yeah. the NFL has uh, sort of put the gag order in and people talking about that stuff, too. Um, and, and when you watch them interpret a call and the, and the ref comes on to the microphone, it's, it's a little bit funny to hear almost the uncertainty that they, they start to express the call on. And, and so I think they need the refs back. Yeah, uh, last night, some of these games are lasting a long time, three and a half hours, mm -hmm. uh, while they sort, sort things out and figure things out. By the way, Justin Tucker... 27-yard field goal as time expired yesterday. The Ravens beat the Patriots on Sunday Night Football if you didn't stay up late and watch it. And there's a little freeze frame. This is a song that will be in uh, Dominic Riola's iPod this morning. Freeze! No snap, says Ken Dallafor. We'll talk again Friday. Thank you. Ken Dallafor, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan, NFL veteran on the Lions' loss yesterday.